All right, go for it. Whoa, 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 whoa. This beautiful citrus behind me and this lovely Hillman imp. And I know you're going to be even more confused now because you came on to a Mercedes water pump video. Now, I've done a complete video series on this car where I've done chains, water pumps, heater plugs, you name it. You don't have to take the engine out to do this job. I just happen to have the engine out. So uh, you can do it in the car. And it might be a bit confusing of what I'm saying because, like I said, it's huge long video that I made to do all of these jobs and I'm splitting it up into little bits to help people if they just want to know how to change the water pump or the injectors or the heater plugs or whatever the case may be. So if you want to also know what happened at the beginning of the video with the engine falling, you have to watch the full video. But you will get an idea and if you want to see more cool stuff on my channel, this Hillman Imp, this beautiful situation then just click the videos down below. Right before I start this video series, and it's going to be a big video series because it's engine out, it's doing the chain, it's doing water pumps, fan belts, servicing the automatic gearbox, doing absolutely everything on this 2010 Mercedes E class. It's a W212. Right, the only thing I've done is remove the actual cold intake here, which is just, just clipped in there, clipped in there, and a little screw, just half turn it and it comes out. At the timing. Now, I got this timing tool from Irish Garage Supplies. This just does the top end of the engine. So in other words, just the top end. If you want to do anything with the bottom end and the Lancaster shaft, you have to get a different kit. But you only really have to worry about the Lancaster shaft if you are doing anything with the bottom uh, crank. We're not doing any of that. So this set is good enough for us. What we do is we've got two locking pins for the cans, but we've got this little gadget here, which is brilliant. It allows us to turn the bottom pulley, because you can see the bottom pulley, the way it's designed. So this fits on and it allows us to turn it. But what it also does, if you haven't got a big impact, it also allows you to hold that and undo each one of these, see? See that? But anyway, the next thing we're going to do is the fan belt and the water pump. So, 18mm 12 sided socket, which will loosen the tension, as you can see, if I do it the right way. Well, so there we go. Tension of the fan belt. If you want to take a picture or draw it out so you know exactly which way it goes, you can. So, we just need to slacken that off. And then get to the water pump. Let's get that off first. A bit tricky. Get a little hook in there. Be careful of this. I don't want to. Oh, God. This is the problem. That is just completely corroded away. That pipe. Great. Cracked, completely cracked. But we might have enough. Where does it go? <clears throat> Should be okay. Right, what you're supposed to do, and I didn't really show it in the video, but I did do it, is once you take the fan belt off, check all the pulleys, spin them as fast as you can by hand to make sure they're not rattling or the bearings are going and just hold them and see if you can move them in any, any direction because if you can, you're going to want to replace it. As you'll see at the end of the video, you'll see the uh, tensioner moving. Now, the tensioner will feel fine most of the time by hand. You have to start it and let the pressure come on, but you'll see the tensioner slightly moving. So it's simple enough now, it's out. We've got... Again, in Mercedes ultimate wisdom, they have used the same type of um, torques with the security bolt in as you get in like airbags and stuff like that. Like it's a water pump Mercedes, what are you at? Alright, so it's a T30 and again, if you're watching this video and you need to do this, obviously I've got the engine out. You have to be so careful because 
these torques with the hole in, you can see that, they're so delicate, it doesn't take much to break them. If these bolts are any way seized, you're in trouble. If someone's been in there before, used the wrong size, in the car, this would be a lot of a nightmare, to be honest. Let me get the longer T30. When it's out like this, it's obviously simple. When it's in the car, I tell you, something as simple as this, I'll turn into a nightmare. Doing this job, even if you're doing this, only you're going to be replacing all the coolant. So I wouldn't be surprised at that. But some people, some people do get surprised. Why do you have to replace the coolant? Well, take out the water pump. Why well, can't you just catch it? Catch it on all the engine and all the crap that it goes down, and then blocks up things and doesn't cool your engine properly or to try and save a few quid. There we go. Again, look, it wasn't bad. It was working. Oh. What's that? <laughs> Something in there. The new one, don't bloody do it. So, new seal, and I'm a firm believer, if you've got a seal, use it, don't use sealer. Um, famous last words, but. <laughs> oh, I said that. <laughs> I'm just gonna double check this. Make sure that's on, which it is. The new pump, the fan belt, and the sucking diesel soon. Hopefully. Put them all in before you tighten any of them. And this goes with anything with multiple bolts even two bolts because you can tighten something and there is a bit of leeway and a bit of movement and you could tighten something and then you put the other bolts in you might they might go in you might think they're going in quite well but they could be tight against the threads and you could strip the threads when you come to do the final tight quite easy star pattern like you would putting your wheels on your car. And now just go around, give them all a nice snug and it's done. Just broke my mount of the camera. <laughs> my phone's dangling. Anyway, it's always good. Just spin that. Make sure it spins. Make sure nothing happens. See if I've got a good memory of how the new belt goes. Do 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 do. Things I do. But do I? Or am I? I could get full. Mm-mm. 
Right, which one's going to be the easiest to put this around? I think that's right. We'll try this, Polly. I don't know if it's going to be the easiest, but we'll give it a shot. Sometimes the smaller pulleys are easier. Fan belt and water pump, kind of two jobs at once. Oh, I got this pipe back on as well. I just nipped the, the bit off that was a bit bad. It's not a water pipe, but yeah. Um, I did check all the pulleys, which is what you're supposed to do, to make sure none of them are rattling or anything like that, and they all seem to be fine. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, but fire straight up, absolutely lovely. You can see, you see that that moving. You see it there. So that that tension is gone or going. It's not gone yet, but it's going. Right. What you have to do now is it depends on your car. The, there's so many different things, but you pour it, pour water and coolant in it to the level. Keep the radiator cap off. Turn the hot air on the inside and and start the car and let the fan kick in. Once you start getting warm air inside, you know the water's completely circulating. Depending on the car, sometimes you have to put a scan tool in and you might have to uh, prime a pump. Sometimes there's bleed nipples on it. It all depends on the car and, and you can have the same model car with two different systems on. So it's, it's very difficult to say. You have to get the system that's in your car to know essentially what to do. But once you've got hot air circulating, you can put the cap on, take it for a drive. As long as it doesn't overheat, you know you've got no more airlocks and you're good to go. Boom, sorted.